My name is Dr. Randy Hyde. I'd like to talk about diurnal enuresis or daytime wetting. That is different than bedwetting or nocturnal enuresis. And the way it's different is with diurnal enuresis, it's a completely different dynamic. What happens is a child has a functionally small bladder. Not necessarily organically small or physiologically small, but the bladder is like a little water balloon. And if you remember blowing up a balloon for the first time, man, it's hard. You know, you're having to blow as hard as you can. The second time, it's much easier to blow that up. Well, a, a diurnal enuretic bladder is very small, and it's covered with very pressure-sensitive nerves. So that when the, when the bladder expands, it pushes on these nerves and gives the kid this immediacy. Ah, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. And for, for daytime enuresis, it's very, very urgent because it hasn't expanded or desensitized. And so it might hold a thimble full of urine and the kid's like, ah, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. So a diurnal enuresis with your child, you might find, man, they are urgent. They gotta go right now. And they're running to the bathroom and half the time they don't make it. That's because as it expands, it becomes painful, you know, when, when your bladder feels really full and, and they can't hold it because they're sphincter. The, the, little, the little gate through which the urine passes is generally weak.